Good morning, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida on the world famous Mosquito Lagoon, Indian River, and Banana River near Cocoa Beach, New Smyrna Beach, Daytona Beach, just east of Orlando. And today what we're going to do is I've had quite a bit of emails asking me to do a new review on uh, an updated light tackle inshore saltwater flats fishing uh, tackle rod and reel selection. I'll tell you from my professional standpoint, um, an outstanding tackle selection for light tackle setup um, for backcountry flats fishing anywhere in the state of Florida for any species of bonefish, redfish, spotted sea trout, black drum, and some of the smaller juvenile tarpon and uh, any of the freshwater fish that we also have here. So the first thing that we're going to start off with and um, I've been out today, I've been fishing, um, I've been using them myself is this is the um, uh, VIS 76 MLF uh, St. Croix and it's the Avid Inshore. This is an intermediate beginner semi-professional model and this is actually what I'm going to start using all my clients. This year I've upgraded, I went and uh, redid all my tackle, ordered all new rod and reels. <clears throat> the guys up there at St. Croix are awesome, um, just incredible. If you're looking to get one, just go to St. Croix's website, and I believe they have a store or a dealer locator on there. You can call them, ask them any questions. You can tell them that Captain Drew Cavanaugh, you know, you saw my videos to call you. Um, you guys know that I use them exclusively. And this rod is happens to be uh, paired up with the new Shimano Stratic, and uh, it's a pretty nice reel. It's an extremely nice wheat reel to say. I use Shimano reels exclusively. It's uh, got the DOA bait buster on there. I was out fishing a little bit today. And uh, basically this is going to be an ultimate rod and reel for a beginner that's willing to spend, you know, a few hundred dollars. It's two, three hundred dollars for the rod, depending on where you get it. A couple hundred bucks for the reel, but you're going to get what you pay for. Uh, the build quality, I, I had the older ones, the old, um, you know, the ones that were eight, nine years old. Uh, they've lasted me, I think, right, let's see, right now I bought them about ten years ago. And Shimano told me that they just basically aren't, you know, working on them anymore, and it's time to, you know, step up and, and get new new uh, equipment. It's almost like my camera gear. You know, Canon always tells me, hey, listen, eventually our firmware updates aren't going to be good anymore. It's time to get a new one. So, but this is a beginning um, for somebody that's setting out looking to get a great beginning rod and reel setup. Uh, this right here, I've got the 10-pound uh, braid, 20-pound fluorocarbon leader on there. Uh, like I said, the reels, a couple hundred bucks, 180, 200, 215, just depends on where you get it. If you're looking to get it, um, if you're here in Central Florida, your best bet is just to go to Shimano's website. And, uh, you know, you probably just, I would just go to Bass Pro Shops, honestly, just log on to their site and uh, look, because they're pretty competitive prices. I believe Bass Pro will match everything. But you can go to Shimano's website and they'll give you all the information there where to find a dealer. And the same thing with St. Croix. So uh, this is a uh, medium light, fast action. Um, it works great. This is a great beginning semi-professional rod and reel. This is what my clients are going to be using. They're going to be very happy. Uh, a lot of people are like, "Gosh, Captain, I can't believe you spend this kind of money for your uh, for your clientele." And I'm like, "Well, you know what? It's it's a high quality trip you're getting, and uh, people expect professional grade equipment." So. Um, that's one reason and the other reason is it works. I'm impressed with it. So then the next one that we're going to step up and look at and, and I've got actually all these um, rod and reels that we're doing here are uh, I've got several other ones. I'm just going to show you this one at a time different ones. Okay, the next one is if you're really wanting to invest some money and it's going to cost you a little bit but you're going to be so impressed with it it's going to be a great decision. It's probably going to last you 10, 15 years. And one thing about St. Croix rods, I meant to say, is they do come with a 15-year warranty. Uh, I have never, ever had one problem with uh, any kind of warranty issues whatsoever. The other thing is the Avid, the, the rod I just saw you, I believe was an iCast uh, choice of 2015. So that right there says a lot. But if you're uh, really willing to spend the money and you get what you pay for in life, we all know that, I would highly suggest you step it up to the um, Legend Extreme Inshore. Uh, this happens to be the 7 foot XIS 70 MLF medium light fast action. And this has got the titanium, both of them have the titanium guys. Uh, um, the build quality on this is phenomenal. This is a professional grade rod and reel. 
Um, I've stepped up to getting a few of these also. It's I, I paired this one up with the Sustain. Um, it's a 2500. Um, it's going to be great for uh, sight fishing, dock fishing, tarpon, uh, dock fishing, uh, backcountry rather uh, juvenile tarpon, and um, everything else. This. All these rods I'm talking about, will, like I said, will land anything on the inshore waters and on some of the near coastal waters, you know, 20, 30, 40 pound fish. Uh, everything has its limits, just like you're not going to bring a big, big reel that you would use for marlin on the backcountry waters, no. Okay, this re rod and reel, I was fishing the other day with it, the first few cast, I thought I was in, uh, like, Oz. I was in the wood because I was like this ain't right. This is magical. I'm Alice in Wonderland. This thing cast like a dream um, I paired it up with put the uh, 10 pound high-vis uh, uh, Braid on there 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. It's got a DOE cal on there. I'm gonna use this for sight fishing uh, tail and redfish casting some nice trout and all that good stuff uh, the sustained reel is definitely a step up above the Stratic um, This is definitely a professional grade setup here this thing is a bad A. Let's just put it one way. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this rod and reel combination. Um, like I said, you're going to be probably spending, depending on where you can get it from, what kind of dealers you can find. The rod is anywhere between four or five hundred dollars, I believe. Manufacturer suggested retail price. The reel is anywhere between three twenty-five, three sixty. So yeah, you are going to spend some money, but you know what? If you're willing to invest in something that's going to last you a decade. And, you know sit down do the math count it out say okay let's see that's what 30 cents a day whatever you know it's worth it for me i'm buying several of them because i'm i just can't go out on a charter and use one or two rod and reels um i have to have a few myself now i do have uh on order um i'm going to get a stella and one of these for myself um just because you know i do it for a living and uh, i want to have I, i'd like to have that so but i know stellas and by the time you get this you're talking you know, a Stella 4,000, five, oh, let's see, a 5,000 saltwater series, what, $1,200? And then the Stella of, what, $2,500, $900? So I can understand that. But the Sustain is definitely your next best choice. One thing about the Stratics I noticed, it does not have the anti-reverse switch on it, which is great. And the other thing I'll, I'm going to do also is I'm going to contact some of the engineers I know at Shimano, and I'm going to tell them they need to start making these reels where you cannot flip the bail by cranking the handle. Now, I know y'all, there's a video I have out there on the proper way to close a rod and reel. And if you want to watch this, I don't want to go into quick, a lot of detail. But the reason why you don't want to crank it is line management, one. Two, it's bad on the bearings. But the main reason is you get better control over this. So this rod and reel, it's medium light, fast action. Um, it's going to be great for sight fishing. Um, I'm going to use it uh, for everything out there. So then let's go to the next one here. The next one we got here is... Okay, this is the XIS 70MF medium fast action, seven foot. And that, that rod, that the other rod, the first one that I had, the Stratic and the Avid was a seven foot six. What I did is I just kind of mixed it up. I bought some seven foot, seven foot six, just for the heck of it. Now I've paired this one up with a Sustain 3000. A little bit bigger power. Um, put a maybe 20, 25 pound liter on there. I put 20 pound uh, uh, Power Pro braid on there. High this braid. Um, this is another professional grade setup. I've used it. And again, my God, this thing casts like a dream. When I'm retrieving it, the retrieve on it is like, I feel as if I've taken a knife, put it in a fire, and it just goes right through butter. I, I am so impressed with this setup. The rod itself is phenomenal. But I'm going to use this for uh, the bigger redfish, you know, the bigger uh, backcountry tarpon, dock snook. Um, and uh, that kind of stuff but uh, it's the same almost the same technology well, it is the same technology just a little bit reinforcement difference and all that but then again you're gonna be spending you know seven eight nine hundred dollars thousand dollars just depends on where you get it contact Shimano contact st. Croix uh, like I said you can call st. Croix and just tell them that you've seen my videos and they will answer any questions because those guys are great and um, like I said this thing's gonna be used for my uh, um, all my charters and uh, probably some of the pleasure fishing I do and I'll probably use this more in the summertime when we start to get the snook and the tarpon in here and the bigger redfish okay so now the last one that I want to go over with is 
I only did this for myself. I didn't have to. I could have gone with three extra Legend Extremes. But what I wanted to do is the guys up there at St. Croix said you ought to, you know, you ought to try one of the freshwater models, um, Legend Elites. And this is the ES70 MLF. Uh, the price range is roughly the same. Um, they said the only difference is, you know, like the handle, the uh, white, the white ones there. A lot of people say they don't like the white. Also, the cosmetic look. I think it looks cool. It kind of stands out. You know, it's a, it's a brand, it's a branding kind of say. So when you see them, you know, hey, that's the Saint Croix model. The only difference is it's got a cork handle. Um, so they say it's not really salt water, you know, uh, feasible. But as long as you clean it. That's what counts. It's just like your boat. Anything else, you clean it. My watch when I get home, I rinse it off. <coughs> Excuse me. So I figured I'm gonna get one of these. I put a uh, um, another uh, sustained 2500 on there. I'll let you get up close look at that. And um, I've got 10 pound high vis on there, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, put a DOA shrimp on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this for uh, some of the freshwater fishing I do, and I'm also going to use this to sight fish, you know, my redfish and stuff. You know, I got my shrimp on there, trout, black drum. So when I'm out there, I can just rotate them out. I hate it when I see guides and other people, every time they want to change a different lure, they cut the line, put on something else. Guides in particular, I should say, because they should be able to go out there with a high line, a selection of rod and reels, and not be tying and rigging tackle all day. An individual, I can understand you're not going to own 6, 8, 10, 12 of these. That's a cost-effective thing. Believe me, I definitely know that. But out of all these rod and reels, if, if you're going to do a lot of freshwater fishing and you're, will, and you're willing and can spend the money, then get you shed, uh, a setup like this. Uh, again, um, this, is, this, is a, this is a nice, nice setup. Uh, the, the last time I did the rod and reel selection for light tackle, it's been four or five years ago, and it was alleged elite reels and, and sustained rods and the technology has changed so much that i'm telling you the first time i cast these i was impressed i was like man what a night and day difference we got going on here with this stuff the way technology's changed the way the build quality is one thing i've noticed the eyelets on the freshwater model see if you can see that is a lot smaller so the only thing i don't like about that is when you're tying your uh, spider hitch knot to your uh, braid to your uh, uh, fluorocarbon Got to watch that knot and also watch reeling in at the top. Uh, you know, you don't want to reel all the way in your, your lure or hook or anything. It could damage that guide. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to let you get a quick camera view. If I can uh, zoom in on this, there's a really heavy glare back out here. Uh, with the first one is the uh, Avid uh, Inshore. Um, it's a semi-professional, uh, great beginning rod and reel setup. I'm not so sure. I just cannot see that screen, so... And it is paired with the, Strat, the new Stratic 2500. There's that one. And then we have the Legend Extreme Inshore uh, XIS 70 Medium Light Fast Action paired up with the uh, Sustain 2500. Awesome, awesome setup. My God, this thing is like... Okay. Reach across the camera here then we have the uh, xis 70 mf legend extreme inshore paired with the sustain 3000 and then the last one that we had was the saint croix Excuse me was the last one we had was the uh, st. Croix legend elite uh, freshwater series the ES 70 MLF medium light fast action paired with the 2500 and like I said this one is great if you're gonna do half and half or if you just want something different I mean you can't go wrong with either one I mean come on now look at who's making these things so all right and uh, put that down And so there you have it. This is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, and I want everybody to have a great day. Thank you.